So this is a lovely effect using the cloth simulation inside some of the Cinema 4D 2023, um, and it's it's emulating a kind of an underwater feel. Um, now this is done by um, changing the gravity, um, holding these objects down, getting the cloth and some turbulence, um, and then changing the gravity. So there's a few things to do to achieve this kind of feel, but it's you know you've got this kind of underwater fluid motion going on here which is um some really nice effects you can do um, with all different shapes I've, tr I've tried it in various different ways but i just thought let me just show how this is built so i'm just going to do it basic i'm not going to do all the all the different shapes and all of the um materials and stuff here in the lighting it's just going to be showing how this basic principle works and if you want more in depth scene files that are more complete with all of the um, texturing and um, the kind of look you can see on the screen now then they're available on my gumroad which is linked below for a very very small cost so let's get on with this free tutorial and i'll show you how to build this scene so like we do in all these cases let's start with a new scene so we can come up here right so completely blank screen what do we do to build this all right so let's start with a cube and what we're going to do is we want to make it very tall so let's go i don't know 600 and let's bring it down to only about five and like 0.5 so we get this very slender ribbon kind of look there right all right so what we do then we, just, we need to add some segments so let's go to ground shading with lines so we can see how many let's add about what looks right about 100 so we've got a ribbon okay now we want to make different shapes and sizes here rather than all the same ribbon so what i do is i just copy a few and you can clone them and you can use randomizers um sorry random clones and stuff but it it never quite it never quite makes them quite right for me i like to just kind of manually do this bit because it's you've got a little bit more control over um you know the, the heights and things like that because we want these to to be a bit varied so yeah we're just going to make a few different shapes um sizes and stuff like that and then when they're smaller we just need to take out some of the subdivisions like that you know just so they're kind of even um let's make a third one um we can turn these as well you know this not make any of these look the same so what do we have should we have there's a wider so I go for a slightly wider one um something like that and then if you want to line all these up i mean it doesn't have to be spot on this honestly we can just um you know get them kind of similar like that and then when you've got a few of those we can copy a few more just just copy a load more out like that and then let's go back to here take those last three do that and then you can spin them a little bit like that so we've got a, a different different shapes maybe we just make them random in the order you know we, we don't want them we don't want them all the same so let's just make another group of those like that and let's take them out and and just spin them around i mean you can you can spend a bit more time with these um getting them you know to be a little bit more a little bit more random the more the more random the pieces are the better right so we've got that so let's just you know just move some of these about um, and make sure they're not intersecting as well you know, make sure they're all separate so that's 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 the idea is just to make um a series of of different let me just get these right and I'll, yeah well, a series of, of of different shapes using um cubes you you can use um capsules or cylinders um seem to work really nicely for this effect um and a few spheres as well we, we can put in here as well so it's 
I'm just going to show you it with the um, with these flattened like ribbon cubes in in this tutorial. So what we do, we want to hold all these down and we want to add the cloth dynamics. So in my example, what I did was I I just took a a disc like that. Now if that disc is at zero, let's actually lift all these up like that just so we got we're working at zero. So just lift them up so they're close to touching the disc. Now the disc is going to act as the base to hold these down, but we just want to add a few segments here because the more segments, the better kind of anchor they're going to have, which I'll show you why in a second. All right, so we just put that, yeah, it's just like that, just so they're roughly in the center. All right, now what we do now is we can actually, um, we can probably just group all of these. Let's just group them all and call them ribbons, something like that. Um, and then on here, we want to put cloth tags on these, right? So we right click, so just select it all now and right click and go to simulation and cloth. Now the disc, let's just put that at the bottom because it's the order they're in. The disc has got cloth on. Now, if we press play now, um, yeah, I wonder why that one's not dropping. Ah, it probably, hang on. Um, we need to put these in a connect object. Okay, it's not working like that. So we have a connect, and I think we can put that under there, and then we can put the um, cloth tag on the connect. Let's give that a go. There we go. Okay, yes, you've got to connect all of your objects together first. You can't just put them in the null. It doesn't seem to like that. So make sure you connect them and then you can add a cloth tag to them all rather than put it on each separate one. Um, so basically, yeah, they're all falling out of the scene, which is no good. So we go Control D, Project Settings, turn off the gravity, zero that. So now if we press play, there's not a lot happening because there's nothing to move it around okay so we need something to move all this around so let's just give ourselves a couple like 200 frames just so this goes over a longer period right so yeah to make this move we simply grab a force and the best one for this is turbulence let's just bring up the strength a little and the scale <coughs> Right, let's just press play now and see what happens. Right, can you see a bit of an issue? <laughs> We've actually got the disc floating around with all of the other pieces and we don't want that. So how do we get away with that? Now it needs to, it needs to be a cloth tag because we're gonna link these together and they both need to be cloth tags. But what we do with this one, we click on cloth and we go to mix animation and we just check this with pins. So basically it's gonna pin it down 100%. It won't act as cloth, but it'll have like a cloth tag. So now if we try it, look, there's nothing moving on, on that disc. Okay, but how do we hold this to the disc? Um, if you right click on disc and we go back to simulation tags and we go to connector, we can use this connector to connect these to it. The way we do that, is we check update live and we increase the search radius and the, and the connections. So we just up that and as you can see, as I start to lift this up, look, all these yellow like little connecting threads are shooting out. Okay, and if we go the, the connections as well, if we make more connections, more radius, you see, you've got more anchor points you can just keep pushing this up, you know, just hold it down, make sure it gets held down. So that's what that does. It connects to another cloth object. So they both have to be cloth, but the disc, you can literally, like I've just done, make it um, uh, turn on mix animation with pins and it won't move. So now if we try it, we've now got something similar to what I had on my, my video at the start. 
something similar to this, which is moving like this. Look. Okay. Now the only thing I did a little bit different here was in the con in the project settings under simulation, I turned up the damping. All right. Go to about ten. What that does is it it kind of takes all the springiness out out and makes everything a lot slower. You know, like it's either underwater you know which is ideal for this um, simulation so now look you've got this much more kind of fluid feel to all the pieces and we can do quite a few more things here um, I'm not going to like I say go into all the other effects and and, and, and the materials and all, all you know the other things that's going to be available to download below if you want more scene files you can grab all those um, but just a couple of things you can try is the turbulence for example um, we can have another one and um, we could have a larger scale on that one and basically layer them up so we can have but what we don't want is we don't want much strength because it's underwater and we don't want this to be you know, like it's blowing in the gale force. This wants to be very slow and almost hypnotic. So if we keep the strength quite low on both of them, we should get much more of a, almost like they're swaying and dancing. That's the kind of feel we want. Let's just have a few more frames. Let's go 500, just so we can sort of sit and watch this kind of movement. Okay, so that's, the kind of movement you would get um, and if you want them to be let's have a look at the cloth setting on here um, I mean we let's have a look what have we got on the cube we could um, what, yeah I'm just thinking we, we could probably add we could probably add some segments this way like that and we might even be able to just like add a little bit of blue. I'm just thinking, just to make this look a little bit different. Maybe let's just put a little bit of um, like balloon into there and see what we get now. There we go. Let's just see if that's. Oh, they're actually coming off the ground. The reason they're coming off the ground is we've made a few changes, and you have to go back to the connector. And you see how it's all gone a bit mad now. It's all gone. It's kind of lost where it was first set. All you need to do is just move this a little bit look just push it up and down a little bit and it kind of resets itself back to the beginning it sometimes gets in a little bit of a mess like that so just make sure you reset it let's have a look what it's doing now then if we press play okay so they're actually inflating slightly and obviously we can increase this inflation just here look and because it's a very very thin cube because we've set these at only 0.5 on the on the z which is this obviously the small section here it's trying to blow air into it okay so we could say well, let's push that a little bit further and see if we can get more air in these okay so as you can see I think I'm awesome. getting air in them yeah oh yeah that's nice okay not bad you see not bad so i mean you could vary this and you could say right we could have some that would inflate and we could have some which are thinner and, and won't inflate yeah so we've got a really nice feel going on there we could um have a little bit more strength on the turbulence there look if you want to just move them around a little bit more just increase the strength and if you take it off then it'll all slow down so have a play it's a really nice look okay so come up with some nice textures um come up with different shapes put some spheres in there and get all them moving around um yeah just have loads of fun with it duplicate it um set up a lovely little underwater scene using these and just think of other ways of using these now you've seen it like that there's lots of applications for this 
that's it really that's all i want to talk about um i hope it's useful um and i will speak to you very soon in the next video my name is mike from visual animation take care goodbye for now